Hey everybody, good morning, happy Monday. This is Eddie Sand, the Optimistic Marketer, and today I am going to go through the reasons why digital marketing is today, is now what you need for your small business and what you need to prepare for. That's coming up next. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So like everything else, we're going to say good morning to Instagram right about Hey everybody, this is Eddie Sand, the Optimistic Marketer. Today we are going to talk about why digital marketing is the one thing you want to do for your small business and what you need to prepare for. That's coming up next. All right, awesome everybody. So yes, digital marketing, it is here, it is now, it is happening. And you need to understand that preparation is key for your small business to take advantage of digital marketing. It is a marketing, there is a marketing shift happening right now and i'm going to go through some of the uh, some of the ways that you can actually take advantage of this today you need to do this today so good morning hey happy monday steve what up what up so let me uh make sure here that i have everybody uh, that i can see at least actually i, I guess i can yeah it's upgraded software okay cool all right so let's get let's dive into it right away Mm. Be a Monday, right? Monday is usually busy for every one of us. So here's, um, let me catch you up. Thank you so much for being here live. I do appreciate it. My commitment continues right now till further notice to be here live every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific to bring to you the digital marketing techniques for your small business, for your business to succeed in this marketing shift. There is a marketing shift, a virtual marketing shift happening right now. It's been happening since the beginning of this year. Now is more than ever. There, I call it, there's a wave of opportunity for your business to come out of this, all these challenges that we're going through to come out succeeding. All right, so that is the key right here preparation this is your time to prepare and preparation means that you need to take advantage of this marketing shift by creating a digital marketing plan for your business uh, last week i talked about the difference between traditional marketing and digital marketing and why i said that traditional is okay to have but you cannot do away with digital as a matter of fact that should be your number one source right now all awesome opportunities coming right now uh, this month at least for Facebook you know what's happening in Facebook get on it all right so how do you do it how, how what's happening how do you do this thing well first of all you need to make, make sure you understand that you follow this path if you don't not sure if you want the details on what this path and and the process I have a virtual marketing process that I've basically created the past three months and you can have it you just go to my website eddysand.com you can download it there but practically, this digital marketing path is what you want to focus on. You see, what's happening here is that your, your goal is to go live. Yes, I said live. I didn't say upload videos. Although you could do it. There's a way to do it. If you go and check out many of the videos that I posted already in my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash optimistic marketer, you go there. And you'll find a lot of techniques that I've given you already on how to actually go live without being live. Okay, so you can do that. But anyway, point is though is live streaming, live videos. This is the opportunity that you have today. And how do you go about it? You first need to do many. Get people to know you. You've got to put a lot of content out there. And by the way, I don't mean content in a, in a way where you need to prepare a list of things that you're going to talk about. I've, I've already, I've already gone through where you can actually get this information. Uh, again, if you have questions right now, you can always, obviously, if you're live here, you can ask me where to get it, but all that information is already, I've, I've given it to you. It's out there in my Facebook, on my Facebook page. Just go look through and you'll find it, but you've got to get people to know you for the purpose of them liking you. They got to like you first. All right. This is building relationship. It is 
I need you to understand this because a lot of business owners, all right, a lot of businesses, I when I go, when I have gone into the business, the physical businesses, and I explain the process of digital advertising, in their heads, they're thinking, how much can you guarantee, how many leads can you guarantee me now in exchange for the for the service fee? I'm thinking, hold on. I can't guarantee anything right now because how about this? How, mu how, much, uh, um, how much work and how much effort can you guarantee me so that together we can get those leads? That's, that was actually my attitude because, you know, it's digital advertising is one thing in regards to getting leads, absolutely, but you still need a plan. You can't, have, you can't go and get a bunch of leads and not follow up with them. That was one huge mistake that I have found with many, many, many small businesses that they did not have a follow-up system, but yet they were expecting a bunch of leads and a bunch of sales. doesn't work that way. So again, this process, it's about building relationship. It's called social media for a reason. Social media, social, you've got to be social. You've got to engage your audience. Very important. Now you can do it on Facebook. You can do it on LinkedIn. You can do it on whatever such social media platform you decide to do. I personally, I'm going to tell you right now, do Facebook. There's the data that's in there. You will use it and it will increase your chances to find that niche market that you're looking for online. All right. And then after they like you, they're going to trust you. They are going to trust you. So it's a process. Get, they get to know you, to like you, and trust you. And finally, of course, you'll be able to offer whatever it is that you want to sell. One thing at a time, by the way. Don't offer everything that you have to sell. One thing at a time. One service, one product at a time. Now, if that's the process, then a lot of the time I get the question, well, okay, you tell me to go live. What do I do? <laughs> do I just go live and say hi? No, no. You got to do a little bit more than that. So you've got to decide, you've got to decide, do you want, are you an expert in your business, in your industry that you want to show people something? Then be the expert, do an ex, uh, have an expertise journey or uh, a journey. A journey basically means if you're going to do something totally new that you, maybe a hobby, maybe you want to pick up um, cooking. Now that a lot of people still, they're not going out as much. You know, just something like that. Take them on a journey through your cooking shows. Okay, whatever it is that you want to do, then do that. By the way, talking about cooking shows, restaurants, listen up, restaurants. You're missing out. If you're not doing this yet, you're missing out on this opportunity. You guys should be doing behind the scene in your kitchen, cooking that special one, one plate, the, the famous one plate that everybody in your area, in your community enjoys and loves. They always go and get or used to if they're not going uh, anymore. Show them. Show them behind the scene. Um, you know, talking about this restaurant thing, there was a restaurant here locally that closed down. Uh, Buca de Pepo. I, I think I'm saying it right. But I didn't know anything about that restaurant until I found it because someone invited me to, and this is what attracted me to that restaurant. They had this one table, one, where it was inside the kitchen. So if you can imagine, the table is right here, and the kitchen is right in front of us. And so we get to have the little bits and pieces of all the meals that they're cooking while we're waiting for our food that we have ordered. And you can hear the sound. You can hear everybody going around. They're bringing you pieces of this and that. Oh, taste this. It, they bring me a meatball. It, I didn't order meatball, but they were like, look, we just have some extra. Would you like it? It was such an experience that I every time I wanted to go out and feel like an experience, I will go there because no restaurant that I know of had something like they, that they did a table in the kitchen. 
But unfortunately, they closed down. I don't know the details about that. I personally think that they missed out on the opportunity of going digital too because that's what people want. It's the experience. It's the engagement. They feel more connected to you when you show them behind the scenes who you really are, what your business is all about. It helps, okay? So that's the whole process, right? You take them on a the journey. You, you show them something. Either way, choose one and go for it. Now, what platforms to take or to use? I already told you, use Facebook. I, look, if you have a business-to-business -business ser service or product, then obviously go to LinkedIn. I mean, that's where you're going to find all the businesses that are looking for you, for your service. But if you're mainly all about consumer, business to consumer, B2C, then use Facebook, use Instagram, use, uh, what else do we have? What else? Instagram, oh, Twitter, uh, Periscope. Okay, you name it, just use one of those things and master it. Master it. Pick one platform and master it. Once you master that, then you can move on to many other ones. And what do you need to master? You need to master your audience. What do they want? What do they, they're always asking for? Uh, what do they like? How many videos uh, they watch about whatever topic you, you talked about? Are they communicating? Are they engaging? Where are they? What's the demographics? What's their psychographics? All this data can be found on Facebook, by the way. And so you build that audience and then you start testing. So you do the live videos, you do all, more, many, many live videos, and then you test, you boost those videos, right? See what hits, see what catches, what people are saying. Are they wanting more? Do they not like it? Just start testing. You can spend three to five bucks per week just to get video views. That's how inexpensive it is. And what that's going to do is, it's going to help you understand what your audience wants and you're going to bring more value to them okay now the tracking part okay i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure you understand this so remember i said at the beginning that i used to go to the businesses and what what i used to do again is i never went in there thinking i need their business like i need them to buy from me never did that my objective was to to see what they were doing already. Where were they? And I learned, I learned my lesson. Okay. I, I, you, when I first started, I had a business partner that we first started doing this and I went in and, and we were kind of soft about things and, and we learned, we learned certain things on what not to do. Right. That was the, that was our testing the audience part. Right. And then we started tracking. So we started tracking. Well, that's not working. This is not working. That worked. That, so before you know it though, what I would do is immediately, now I knew what was I looking for, I would look for the process. That was very important, the process. Were they tracking or did they even have a process? Because it wouldn't matter how much I can bring, how many leads I can bring. What mattered was, can they handle, can they close, can they make the sale? out of all these people that are going to come to see them. So in regards to that, okay, the tracking part, tracking and your, pro your process and tracking is your most important part, should be the most important part in your marketing strategy, especially with digital marketing. You have to track. All right, uh, an example with pix uh, the pixels on Facebook. The Facebook pixel is a code that you enter into your landing page, a page that works for you 24-7, that, that sells whatever it is that you're offering. And you got to put that code there to track. And you can go further and not only have page view tracking, but you can tell Facebook, hey, can you go ahead and track also where do they click? Did they click the button? Did they become a lead? You have to track this stuff because it's not going to work for you if you go and do this digital marketing path and you start doing the journey or the expertise and you go to a platform, Facebook, for example, and you start seeing the audience interaction, but you're not tracking. Like all that effort, all that, 
all that effort that you're putting into is going to be wasted because you're not tracking. So tracking is important. But of course, in order for you to track, you need to have a process. Your process needs to be reliable, okay? Uh, mainly like this. So for example, a process should be your landing page, right? Your website. You should have an automated system, meaning a follow-up system. Use email marketing. It is working fantastic. You can also use chat bots, but okay, if you wanna go technical, you can do that too. But marketing, uh, email marketing is really simple and you can automate that. You can do so much with that by segmentation and all this other tags and stuff like that. And you need to have your brand needs to be sure, clear at least for the people who are coming through your process because you'll need to sell, you need to close them, all right? So very important. Um, this track thing came because I heard someone talk about that. Uh, I think it was last week or something where I was actually, I, I'm, I always track, I always see the numbers. And whenever I don't like something, I either let it go, let it go through, or sometimes I just say, you know what, this is not working. So anyway, I can't remember what it was the conversation that we had. Uh, I think it was with Joey. I think we were just talking about tracking. But basically, when I see in my tracking system that I'm paying, let's say, what was it? I think it was 15 cents per, per, um, per engagement. Then it, it went down to 10 cents. That is way too much for me, way too much. That's like excessively pricey. And you're probably thinking, what, 10 cents, 15 cents? Yeah, it's super expensive. I'm used to getting one penny per engagement or less. Oh, after we just did something, we're testing something actually, Joey and I were testing something that he's done before and I'm getting like, less than a penny. I don't know how that's possible, but it's, it's 0 0.001 and 0 0.002. Okay. We're, that's what we do, but we test, we put uh, the content, we find, we found the audience, we test, 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 and we're also tracking. Got it. All right. That's what I have for you. So now how can you use this for your business? All right. Well, this week I will dedicate this week to show you everything that I just shared with you. Very specific. I'm gonna show you how to actually have a process. That's the first thing, okay? Remember, if you don't have a process, forget about it. You can go live, you can do all these live things and, and go and go and put all this content, but if you don't have a process, it won't matter, right? Because you're going to just lose momentum and lose the people. All right, process. And then I'm gonna also talk about later on through the week about that pixel thing. I'm actually going to show you what I mean when I say you can track clicks, right? How to actually track those clicks, because that's important. And I'm also going to talk to you through the, uh, sometime this week, like I, I haven't decided uh, the date, so just kind of keep an eye on my Facebook page. If you're not following me, if you're somewhere else and you're not following me on my Facebook page, go to facebook.com forward slash optimistic marketer, follow me there, and you'll, you'll get those updates on the events coming up this week. Um, but anyway, and another thing that I'll show you is all about that tracking system, right? Like what, how can you get those, those not tracking, I'm sorry. How can you get the least amount of price on engagement, like the pennies or the, below the pennies and how to actually get a, a bunch of likes and followers. I'm going to show you all that this week. So I'm going to very, uh, I'm going to go on the technical side this week. I've decided to do that. And if, if you want to know my general process, that my virtual marketing process that I've created for the past three months, I've kind of put it together. You can download those PDF things uh, that I've done for you guys. Go to edisand.com. Uh, edit you can download them there, absolutely free. So that way you can kind of catch up on, on how to make sure you do some things that I'll be talking about. But uh, yeah, anyway. That's what's going to happen. So please understand it's a marketing shift. Do it now. Don't miss out on this opportunity. I don't know how much longer they're going to go. It's going to go for, but you've got to take action today. All right. Awesome guys. Uh, I apologize if I didn't, um, wave at you or something. I, I, I thought I had my messenger uh, system thing open, uh, because I'm using a third party app. 
but uh, I didn't. So I don't know. Anyway, I saw that some people came in and left and something. So I really appreciate you guys always coming in, being active, engaging on this live videos. Uh, you'll have the opportunity this week. If you come here live, go ahead and ask me some questions about your digital marketing or your, your traditional marketing, how you can transfer from what you're doing into the digital world because of this virtual push for your business. Ask me questions. I'll be very glad to answer them um, as I do my live videos. So you'll have that opportunity through this week. Again, every single day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific, your optimistic marketer comes here live. Until further notice, I I'm, I'm, don't know how long I'm gonna do this, okay? I've, I've done it for now three months, we'll see. But I'll leave you with this. I'm talking about preparation, having a marketing plan, digital marketing plan, uh, having a process, right? Do it for the rest of the year. Have a plan for the rest of the year. Uh, three months ago, I met with a few small business owners that their hopes were way up thinking that things were going to come back after three months. As we all know, it's not. So make sure you have preparation for the end through the end of the year. And some of the techniques that I'll show you are going to benefit you. Whether you already have a strategy plan or not, you've got to get into this. All right, cool. Awesome guys. Thank you everybody for showing up. Thank you for watching the recording. I appreciate it. Again, uh, if you want more information, just go to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash optimistic marketer, or you can learn more about me at eddiesan.com. I'll talk to you later, guys. Stay cool, stay calm, and keep a sound mind. Peace.